Configuring the zoom timer will take six videos, but they are short. These are the videos in the order that we will view them. We will configure your desktop, we will configure your timer, we will install OBS Studio, we will then configure OBS Studio, and finally, we will configure Zoom. After we've done all that, we'll put it all together and we'll see what you're going to do in court every day. Right click on your desktop, choose personalization. Locate colors and click it. We will then turn off the transparency effect. It's right here and we're going to go from on, we're going to click it to off. We can now close the window. We'll then right click the desktop again, choose display settings, and we're going to identify monitor one and two. I am on monitor two, that's my large screen monitor. One is on my left hand side, and it is going to be the one that I use for a timer. I'm going to select monitor two, I'm going to go down and make sure that it's my primary display. Make this my display needs to be checked. It is on mine already. I'll then close this window. In this video, we can figure your timer. Start by going to the search glass and type in alarms. Alarms and clock should show up. That's the app we want. Go ahead and pin this to your start and then your taskbar you'll see that it has now shown up on your taskbar. You can access it from there, or you can go to Start, and you can see Alarms and Clocks is there. Go ahead and click that. This is a, a timer that hasn't been set up. We're going to close it. And there's my first timer that I set up, Appellant. We're going to add a timer for the respondent. We're going to select the time by scrolling, and we'll say that they can have 20 minutes to respond. And we're going to label it as Respondent. After, we will hit enter. And then we actually have to start the timer to save it. It's an odd feature, but we'll do that. And then we'll pause the timer and we'll reset the time. We're going to add another timer. And we'll add the rebuttal timer. We'll select five minutes. We'll change the name. We'll hit enter and then play to save the timer. We'll pause the timer and we'll reset. Now you have all your timers and I'll show you what they look like. We'll expand the timer out that we need for the appellant and then we'll start it. This is what they will see in Zoom. And then we can minimize it once it times out. And we can start another timer. We can hit play right away and we can expand it. We can pause it and we can resize and get to the rebuttal time if we need it. I'll close this window now after I reset my timers. In this video, we install OBS Studio. Go to the search bar, type in software. The software center should appear at the top. And then what you're going to want to do is open it. You'll see an applications tab. Make sure that's selected. And I have a lot of software that I can install because I'm an admin. You will not. Go ahead and select OBS Studio and then click install. The install will take about a minute. I'm going to pause the video now so we don't have to wait a minute. Once OBS is installed, you can close this window. You'll see that OBS put a desktop shortcut. You could launch it from there or we can go to search and we type OBS. We can then pin it to our start and our taskbar. Fantastic. It's now on the taskbar. If we go to Start in Windows, it will show up right next to the alarm clock, which we'll be using all the time, right there. So we can launch it from there also. 
In this video, we configure OBS Studio. Let's launch OBS Studio by going to the Start menu, selecting OBS Studio, and clicking it. Your screen will look differently than mine. I need to go to Tools and then Auto Configuration Wizard. Yours should be up if this is the first time you've used it. Make sure you click I will only be using the virtual camera. Click Next and apply the settings. Scenes, we will leave alone. Sources, we need a source for our camera. Click the plus button. We're going to do the display capture. So select display capture and then rename it timer. Click OK. And now we need to select the secondary display, the secondary monitor. I am going to select my laptop monitor that is on my left. And you can see that I already have my timer timers up on that monitor. I'm going to hit OK. And I have a 4K monitor, so right now I need to figure out how to resize this window so everything fits within it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to slide it over. I will then take um, the red lines. Here we go. Move it over. And I need to make these red lines fit into that black box because anything in the black box will be seen. So then I'm going to take the side and move it over. That's perfect. The other thing everyone has to do is go to the bottom, look at your keyboard with the left alt key and click that bottom line while holding the left alt key and move that up. That's all we have to do for that. And then we simply click start virtual camera. Then we will minimize this program and we'll leave it running. In this video, we configure Zoom. Our timers are up on our secondary monitor, and OBS Studio is already running. We click Search. I will type in Zoom. We will then open Zoom. And it's on my secondary monitor, so I need to move it over. I'm going to click Start because I need to start a meeting to configure Zoom. And it's on my secondary monitor. Move it over again. OK, there we go. So I'm going to expand this out. And on the bottom, you're going to see Start Stop Video. And right now, it's on my HD camera. So let's start it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm wearing pants. I'm going to kick, click the Chevron. And then I'm just going to pick OBS Virtual Camera as the camera that I want to show. I'm going to get Start Again. And there's the timers that are on my secondary monitor. So they're to my left. I actually have to move the mouse over there. I'll expand them out and then I'll hit play. So if there was another participant in the video, all they would see is the camera. Or I'm sorry, all they would see is the timer. So we'll minimize this. You can do your admin functions. You can look at the participants. You can invite people. You can record. Um, and as long as your video is broadcasting, you're broadcasting the timer. I'll go back to my secondary monitor, I'll pause it, I'll resize it, and I'll start my respondent timer and hit play. Now, if your timer is upside down or backwards, we can fix that. So we'll show you how to do that in just a minute. We'll click the Chevron, we'll click Video Settings, then we'll make sure that Mirror My Video is off. If it's on, it will show up backwards, and we don't want that. So we're going to make sure that's unchecked. Then we're going to close this. That's all we need to see. And there you go. There's your timer. Pretty easy, huh? So I'm going to close this meeting and end it for everyone. In the next video, we'll see how it all comes together. See you then. OK, it's game day. Let's we'll put it all together. It's time for court. This is what you're going to do every day. The first thing we'll do is we'll open up OBS Studio. All our configurations are already set. We'll just double check. Yep, the scene's there, the timer's there. The secondary screen is being recorded. We're gonna hit start virtual camera and we're gonna minimize it. That's it. We gotta set up our timers next. Make sure everybody has enough time to argue their points. I'll launch that. They're all set there, they look good. I'll move this to my secondary monitor, the one that OBS Studio is actually looking at. And then I need a Zoom meeting. Um, you guys will probably already have a meeting. I don't have one, so I'm just going to start one. You would just join your Zoom meeting, your scheduled Zoom meeting. I'm going to hit Start. 
I'm going to go down to the camera and I'm going to click the Chevron. I'm going to make sure OBS virtual camera is selected. And then I'm just going to start it. And as you can see on my secondary monitor, those are all the timers. So I can go over there. Let me just go over there right now. There we go. And then I can start the timers whenever they start having court. So I can hit start. I can pause them. Yours would uh, time out. And then you would just start the next timer and you would hit start. And then we can minimize this timer again. Pretty simple. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to end this meeting and I'm going to show you what to do at the end of a meeting. So I'm going to end my meeting. You guys would just leave it. Um, and then I'm going to make sure that uh, we turn off the, yeah, res I got stuck here. All you have to do is reset your timers. There you go. And then close it. And then go to OBS Studio. And we can just close it. Go file, exit. If it's the camera still on, which this is telling us uh, we never shut off our virtual camera, that's fine. Just hit yes, and it will close that program. And then we'll close Zoom, and we'll go about our day. Enjoy.